Yo everybody, this is Enzo. It's uh, I'm going to start pumping a few more of these out, just for the simple case or fact that I'm at home a lot more now because for the next six to eight weeks, just basically because I did my ankle in, obviously. But there's a lot of us that are stuck at home because of COVID. I'm just fortunate enough that motorsport has carried on, uh, so I have been out of the house, but now I'm stuck, so I might as well talk to you guys and help you as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah, so expect a few more of these. Uh, so if you're a fan, thank you, fan. God, that sounds a bit egotistical, doesn't it? If you're a listener, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. And uh, let's move on to today. Today we're going to talk about, it's, pretty, it's something I've always thought, and it's a topic about television. And I'm not going to say now, don't go and watch TV. It's nothing to do with that. But you know how a TV works, right? You sat in front of it and you choose the kind of channel that you like to watch. And there's probably four or five channels, if you're lucky, that you default to. There's four or five that these are the kind of channels I watch, which is good. You know what you like. You know what kind of mindset they create, you know, what kind of emotions these channels create in you, whether it's you want to relax, you want to have a laugh, whatever you want to access. But there's a lesson from that, believe it or not. The channels you watch obviously put thoughts in your mind, put emotions within your body and your spirit. They put you on that mindset. So if you just watched a film, say, say one, of these, one of these channels is a film you watch and it always, it's like a tearjerker. It's like a rom-com channel. Then you know that after you've watched that film or that channel for a, a few hours, that you're going to be in the kind of emotional state that is caring that has love for others. You can't help it. You watch a loving video. It touches, it pulls on your heartstrings. Like when you come out of the cinema, you're in that kind of mindset, aren't you? And if it's, if it's like a, a superhero film that you go to the cinema to watch, you come out and you feel strong. So what we watch on a daily basis or on even an hourly basis, whatever we watch puts us in that mindset. And any Rocky fans out there? If you are, like me, my, that's probably my favorite film or series of films, and I've watched them since I was a kid, and I still watch them now. I still listen to Rocky music as I'm jogging, as I'm working out, so it's really penetrated my life, just that one franchise. But after I've watched it or listened to one of their, to the soundtrack, that's it. I'm completely motivated. I'm on fire. And that's what I go to it for, I think. You know, we can create emotions whenever we want, but it's nice just to have it external now and then. So I think you can get what I'm, I'm talking about here is we go to things in order to get emotional states. And watching TV, going on these channels does that for us. But now I'll get to the point, finally. We also run these channels in our mind, right in our brain. Above our eyes, we have certain things that we focus on certain channels that we switch into in order to create the mindset that we're living with. For example, if I was to ask you what channel you are running this morning, that's basically me asking you what kind of thoughts are you constantly focusing on, which is your channels, in order to give you that mental state. What are the words? Are you thinking about, like, say if you're in regret, right? You're living in regret because you're constantly watching the channel of what you did in the past. And you hate it. And you're saying, if only I could go back and turn, turn back time. If only I didn't do this. Why did I do this? That is a channel that you're watching over and over again. And when you watch that channel, the emotion of regret comes up. The emotion of, oh, screw my life, I hate my life comes up. And then you go through the day with that mindset. Does it make sense? So there's little channels in your mind, which basically means the areas that you focus on, what you're focusing on in your mind, what you're thinking about is a channel. And now if you wanted to feel grateful, you say, right, I'm going to stop feeling regret and I'm going to start to feel grateful. Can you imagine what channel you could watch then? You could watch the great things that have happened in your life. You could think about the family or something somebody did for you. Or you could just watch something or think about something, should I say, of how grateful you are that your heart is beating. How grateful you are that your liver and your kidneys are all working. Your eyes are working. Your ears, your senses. And if you start to watch that channel, that you start to focus on them things, you can't help but feel grateful. 
then the regret channel goes down. You stop watching it so you don't get that emotion so much. So we're all watching these channels in our mind. We're all thinking and focusing on certain things that create these emotions within us. But I want you to start to take control of yours. If you realize that the mental state that you're in on a consistent basis isn't working for you, it's stopping you from being motivated, it's stopping you from taking action, it's making you just fester and not move, then it's time to switch the channel. And it really is that simple. Okay, it may seem like a default that you go to these areas, you focus on these things, but that's only because you do it often. If you want to change your mindset, if you want to change what you focus on, first, you have to do it consciously and force yourself to do it. And you force yourself to do it as many times as it takes until that becomes your new default. And this is what I find with positive people and negative people. All, they're the same kind of person. Their mind works in exactly the same way. But this one who's negative chooses to focus on the things that are not right. And the one that's positive focuses on what can be done. Focuses on what's good about a bad situation. And how it's going to play out and serve them in the future. It's just a slight shift of what they're looking at. It's a slight shift of a switch of a channel of how they are seeing things. So what channels are you looking at? What thoughts are you spending most time with? What are you focusing on, on a daily basis? Take control of this area. Once again, if you're having mental states that are not helping you, just stop and think, what created that emotion? What are the things I'm saying to myself that are bringing that emotion in? What am I visualizing? Where am I spending my thoughts right now? Because it's not helping. And then we have to change it. And you've got to ask yourself, if I wanted to be in a certain mental state right now, one that would help me, one that would serve me, what would I need to think about? What would I need to focus on in order to bring that emotion forward? This is like emotional intelligence. It's not tricking the brain. It's just saying, okay, I realize that wherever I shine this light in my head, wherever I'm thinking about, whatever I'm thinking about, is going to cause an emotion. It's just the way the brain works. So why don't I shine that light on something that helps it, that is more productive, that gets me to get off my backside or gets me to feel better about things and do that more often? This is your choice. Take control of the channel you're watching, the affirmations that you're saying to yourself over and over again. If you take control of them, you'll start to feel better, you'll start to act better, and your results will improve. And I mean results in life as well as in business and sport or whatever. Make sure you do this. Don't get lazy on this side because where you spend your thoughts is where you live and it manifests into your real life. Take control.